Hello and welcome to another edition of the Duke Liberty Show. This is Duke Liberty. Going to be talking to you, doing a short video here um, about ammo storage and the three options that I want to talk about today, uh, what I use and what I would recommend for you maybe. But everyone's different and everyone has different options and different abilities to store ammo depending on where you live, what your setup is, and all kinds of different factors that can come into how you store your ammo in the ammo containers. So uh, first off, we're going to go off with this uh, basic one right here, which is the uh, Walmart special. This is actually what I use to store a majority of my ammo. Uh, these are like five bucks at Walmart. They're in the hardware section and they're obviously you could tell the difference in size between them and the, the 30 cal or like a big boy right here. Uh, so I like them because they're cheap. I can buy a bunch of them, buy a bunch of them, but when I fill them with, with ammo, they're not so heavy that they're cumbersome to, to grab, to manipulate, and to stack. Uh, the other reason why I like these is because I can stack these on top of each other. About four is where I kind of, four tall is where I like to be. Maybe five if I have my full stack going all the way across in my area. Um, but the fact that they're small enough to put enough ammo in, but not overfill. Because when I feel like when you overfill these guys right here, or when you overfill, certainly when you overfill these guys, but a big time when it comes to those 50 cal, because I have a couple of the 50 cal cans, which I would kind of mark in this territory right here. But when I fill those up, they become so heavy and cumbersome, and, and I mean, maybe drop that in your foot, you're going to be in trouble. So I really like these ones for the size, the price point, because these are getting expensive, and these are pretty expensive now, but these are like ridiculous. Um, if you get these with the 50 cal cans, they're crazy expensive compared to like something as simple as this is what I really need. It's got a sealable um, plastic on there to make sure you can get a good seal on your ammo, but like I said... I love these, and so this is what I would recommend for you to use. Uh, also, you can kind of tell I did a uh, spray painted uh, a line uh, across my all the way around uh, the ammo can. Uh, this is seven six two by thirty nine. Uh, it's red, red for Russian. Russian is seven six two by thirty nine in a sense. So that's how I remember that when it comes to ammo. I have a uh, nine millimeter for blue and green for five five six. So and a couple other different colors, but that's the majority of what I have uh, for my uh, prepping. So this is how you can tell if I can just look at the ammo bot, uh, the ammo can, I'm going to know what's inside there, uh, even if they get, you know, mixed up or kind of moved around a little bit. I'm still going to know. I don't like labeling them like on the edge or something with uh, some sort of label. I guess you could use tape and label it as well, but man, the red is really simple to see far away and know what's in there. So that's what I like when it comes to these 30 cal cans. Uh, you can't even stack uh, mag uh, ammo in there real well. I don't want to put loose ammo in there. If I was going to do it, maybe keep it in some cardboard, maybe. But I don't even like doing that with my ammo. So I would really recommend against it. Uh, these are cool. Everybody's got a bunch because when they were kids, this is what you collected and put things in. I have a bunch of them still from when I was younger. But I like them. But uh, they don't stack well. Uh, they don't carry ammo real well. So I, I really don't buy any more of them. Uh, this is an old one I just picked up recently, so that's why it's not even... And it's already rusted, so it's like I wouldn't even put a lot of ammo in there anyways. Uh, probably just use it for tools or something else out here, but uh, that's about as far as it's going to go for me. These big boys are okay for the range. I keep a few of these uh, on hand, though, because maybe that's going to be the one thing that I do take with me. So I'm going to stack this full of like a, some ammo, a decent amount of ammo. Uh, I could put my uh, uh, my headgear in there, maybe a couple iPro... Uh, maybe a little tool kit, uh, can carry a little something extra in there if I need to, and then just take this, depending on the amount of ammo I'm going to shoot that day, or if I'm going to a class or something like that, I can take this, and this is an option um, for that, but I wouldn't want to store a bunch of ammo in here. This is pretty big and, and cumbersome. I like these little guys. You can get a bunch of them, you can stack them, and so in my opinion, this is by far the best uh, storage option for ammo. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think is uh, the best kind of storage device for your ammo. Uh, do you agree with me? Do you disagree? I'd love to hear from you. 
Uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.